Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be all about some drugstore products that I recently found when I was shopping my stash that I completely forgot I even had. And that's kind of crazy to me because some of these used to be holy grail products for me. But I just feel like, you know, nobody talks about them anymore. So I wanted to bring them back out, especially if they're things that you have in your collection that you've also forgotten about. And it's just a fun way to kind of rediscover some of these oldies but goodies and shop our stashes again and um, I have I don't know maybe like eight or nine products to show you so let's just jump right in okay so the first product I'm going to talk about is the one that inspired this video in the first place because when I saw these I was like oh my gosh why have I not been using these it's the L'Oreal infallible eyeshadows these are just single eyeshadows which I guess part of the reason why I haven't been using them is because I have so many palettes and I tend to go for palettes but if I'm just looking for a really quick simple easy like pop a shadow on my eyelid and go kind of thing I really should reach for these more often because they are amazing um, they have kind of an interesting formula and texture they come in a little jar with a stopper and they have almost like a, a very loosely packed texture to them that feels a little bit like wet sand but they're so creamy and so buttery that they just sort of hold together and they're absolutely gorgeous I have 14 shades so this is how much I loved these back in the day one of my absolute favorite shades was amber rush it's still a beautiful color it is so gorgeous if you love warm kind of shimmery ambery colored eyeshadows let me just swatch them all for you so you can see what they look like so left to right the shades are ice latte endless pearl which is more of a satin matte shade eternal sunshine amber rush which is one of my favorites bronze taupe continuous cocoa which is also a matte shade and gilded envy from left to right we have liquid diamond Sultry Smoke, which is a matte, and Infinite Sky, Endless Sea, Perpetual Purple, Burst and Bloom, and Glistening Garnet. A lot of times I would use these sort of as a finishing touch if I did a complete eye look and then I would just pop one of these on my lid because they're just so intense and so beautiful. I would just tap it on with my finger and it would just make the whole look. Other times I would just use one of these by themselves if I was just sort of going about my day and I didn't want to dig out a palette and do a full eye look. I would just swipe these on and go. So they're really stunningly beautiful eyeshadows and they really need more love. And speaking of single eyeshadows, another one that does not get enough love and attention, especially from me, because these were my holy grail at one point, the Maybelline Color Tattoo eyeshadows. Um, I have so many colors upstairs and every single one of them is dried out because I haven't used any of them in more than a year, which sucks. I have some really limited edition colors that are never coming back, um, but they do have some core shades and I picked this one up very recently. This is the creamy beige shade and it's just a really beautiful sort of light brown that's the perfect base for when you're doing eyeshadow looks so I love this color and I want to go back and get some more of the really light colors as well because these are just the best base for making eyeshadow looks the lighter ones I like to just put all over all the way up to my brow bone and then use that as sort of a primer for my other eyeshadows. And then colors like this, I like to put on the lid or maybe just the outer corner, and it intensifies whatever shadow goes on top of it because you're already adding this one layer of cream color and it just helps them to last such a long time. You can also dip into these with a liner brush. I lined under my eyes with this one today, um, and it's kind of a softer line than using a pencil eyeliner. You can also just pop this on your lid by itself, which I used to do constantly. Back in the day, I was not a huge powder eyeshadow fan. Like when these first came out, this is pretty much all I used. I would just dip my finger in, pat a little bit on my lid, and I was done. So you can do that as well on easy makeup days, but they don't crease, they don't move, they stay put all day. The name tattoo is no joke. They stay on until you take them off. So highly recommend picking up some of these as well if you can still find them. I feel like they really narrowed down the color selection recently at drugstores, so they're a little bit harder to find these days, but they are so amazing. And then another eyeshadow product that I came across that I used to be crazy about and haven't worn in such a long time is the original e.l.f. Mad for Matte palette. 
Everybody talks about Mad for Matte 2 because it's those warm colors that everybody was obsessed with for a long time and now I feel like everybody's sick of warm colors. So this is a good one to check out because it's very, very neutral. There's actually a few cool tone shades in here. There's one or two warm shades. There's a lot of neutrals though and it's just sort of almost like the original Naked palette kind of vibe but they're all matte. So if you love all matte eyeshadows, this is a really beautiful one. Let me just insert some some swatches for you guys really quickly. The formula on this one is actually really good and I think this is the first palette that came out from e.l.f. as far as eyeshadows go that I was like okay yes this is a good formula. Before they used to have like these little quads they weren't the best formula wise they were really powdery dry chalky this one though is actually a really really nice formula so definitely worth checking out as well and then the last eye product i'm going to talk about is the maybelline lash discovery mascara i found this tucked away in a drawer somewhere not this one specifically the one that i found i threw out so i went to the store and i picked up another one because i forgot how much i really love this it has a teeny tiny little brush which is awesome for getting um, your bottom lashes and another thing that I like to do with this is something that I borrowed from IT Cosmetics if you've ever heard of their Tightline mascara it also has a tiny brush like this and their whole claim with Tightline is that you can get really up close to the roots of your lashes and it actually deposits some of the mascara on the skin in between your lashes and creates a tight line effect. So I've been using this sort of as a lash primer almost I get right up underneath at the roots and sort of deposit some of that color right along my lash line and it does actually give that tight line effect so it looks sort of like I'm wearing eyeliner but I'm not and it just makes the base of my lashes look a lot thicker so I just kind of do one coat of this and then I go in with any other mascara and I also use this on the bottom lashes and I haven't had any issues with smudging which is awesome um, I couldn't remember if this smudged on me or not because it's been a few years since I used it but I'm really happy that I rediscovered this one it's really good and then I have a couple of face products to share with you. One of them I actually mentioned in a video not too long ago, and this is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Brightening Eye Perfector. This is, I guess it's like a concealer, but it doesn't conceal all that much. If you need a really heavy duty concealer, this would not be for you. It really doesn't hide all that much, but it does a great job of brightening up your under eye area. And if you have dry skin like I do or more mature skin, it's a very thin formula that dries down to a skin-like finish. So it looks very natural. It doesn't accentuate texture, pores, lines, or anything. It's just really beautiful, and I think it just brightens up my overall appearance. I use it all over my face. I've even used this all over as foundation. I put it under my eyes, and then I just sort of kept going, and it worked out well for that too. So I really like the formula on this. I think it's really beautiful. And one other product that I forgot when I was talking about the eye products is the Jessie's Girl Liquid Eyeliner. This is the black shade. I don't have any of the colors, but I've heard through the grapevine that those are not as good, that they don't deposit enough color. They're kind of streaky. This one is amazing though. It has the brush tip on it versus the felt tip. It reminds me a lot of the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I have that as well. And I feel like there's no difference between these. The brush is exactly the same. It applies exactly the same. This is super long lasting and it's a couple of dollars at the drugstore. I ended up just purchasing a new one of these again as well because the one that I had from a while ago was dried out. So um, definitely worth a try if you like liquid eyeliners. I don't wear them a ton, but definitely when I do, this is the one that I reach for because it's really really good and nobody talks about it which is crazy and then another product that used to be holy grail for me and i don't know why i stopped using it is the wet n wild bronzer in reserve your cabana now you're probably looking at this and thinking that is not a bronzer and it, it's not i mean i don't have no idea why they call it a bronzer it's very very light i even the palest person could not wear this as a bronzer i don't think um but it is a really really gorgeous color if you are light skinned like I am for a subtle highlight. This is so beautiful. You can also wear this all over your face because it doesn't have glitter or any type of chunky shimmer to it. It's super refined, finely milled shimmer. So I personally use this as a subtle highlight on my cheekbones. I also use this all over my body, especially like on my shoulders and my collarbone in the summertime when those areas are exposed because it's not chunky or glittery. It's very, very smooth. It's just barely there. So it's, I would, I call it low glow. Um, so it's sort of like 
um, the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter or the Hourglass Ambient Powders. It's very, very, very subtle. So I've actually known people that do wear this all over their face, um, kind of like the Hourglass Powders. You can totally do that if you want to. I don't wear powders all over my face because my skin is so dry and I feel like they look cakey no matter what but it's just a really beautiful product and it's so soft and so silky. I love the texture of it. It's just gorgeous. So definitely worth checking out if you want an illuminating powder that's not over the top shimmery. It's really nice. So another face product that I am obsessed with all over again is the Physicians Formula Natural Nude. I guess this, you would call this like a shimmer brick or just a face powder, but it's really a multi-purpose product. I'm actually wearing it as my highlight today. I dipped into these lighter white shades. I don't know if it's visible, um, but it's, it's again, it's subtle, but you can really build this up to super intense if you want to. It's not chunky, it's not glittery, it's so smooth. There's almost zero fallout when you dip into this. It's absolutely beautiful. It feels like velvet, um, but you can use these deeper shades or the lighter shades on your eyes as eyeshadows. I've dipped into this white for an inner corner highlight that's stunning. These deeper shades in the browns and the pinks are so beautiful as eyeshadows. Or you can just swirl the whole thing together and apply it all over your face or again like on your collarbone and shoulders if you want to glow in the summertime. It's just a beautiful multi-purpose product and I absolutely love it. I'm obsessed with it all over again. And then the last product I want to talk about is the e.l.f. blush palette. I've gotten a lot of blush palettes lately that I've been trying and as I was putting those away, I came across this one. I forgot how much I love this. It's just such a nice blush palette and it comes in two colors. So this is the one for lighter skin tones. There's one for deeper skin tones as well, but it's just really gorgeous everyday blush palette. The formula is so nice. It's one of the most affordable blush palettes out there and the colors are just so super pretty. I'm wearing this lighter pink one on my cheeks and then I use the bronzy shade a little bit underneath. Not really like as a contour but just to kind of warm up my face a little bit. It's just such a pretty everyday easy to wear palette and super affordable too. All right, so that does it for today's video. I hope you rediscovered some old products with me that you forgot about. And uh, definitely let me know in the comments below if you've discovered anything new recently, new old, I should say, that you're loving all over again. I would love to hear from you. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also please consider subscribing so that you'll be notified of future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.